he's always been thinking about like the next way of film things or next camera. He's like always thinking about these things. So it's he's super into like creating something new. A lot of good snowboarders where I come from is a super small hill, but but I didn't know him personally at the time. And then and when he started coming back for like holidays and stuff like that for like Christmas and stuff, I got to know him a little bit more. And he was kind of like my idol from it's like the the great snowboarder that I actually got to meet and hang out with, you know, because all the like the professional snowboarders I was only watching in the movies and on TV. So so he was kind of like my first hero. First time I met him, I think he was in New Zealand. He was riding DC boots. DC wasn't making boards at the time. And then uh, the following year, we filmed in North Star and a couple other places. And that's what's in the DC Mountain Lab 1.5. Just that, he, that dude is, yeah, he's on another level of skill and talent. At the time, everyone was looking for the next American rider and kind of homegrown, like, who's gonna be the next Mikey LeBlanc? And Torstein wasn't that. He was Torstein. We flew him over to the United States to ride at Super Park. This kid shows up, we make a point to try and meet, and he's the quietest kid going. He just doesn't really talk. And I'm like, okay, you've got the worst name in snowboarding and you don't speak. This is gonna be bad. I said that on the inside. On the outside, I was like, hey, it's great to meet you. Like, you know, let's go ride and let's go hang out. And over the next three days during Super Park, he turned heads. And every year at Super Park, there's always those riders that everyone kind of like, they just hit the radar. And Torstein, that was, he was that rider that year. It just really jumped out. I was like, okay, like it's on. This kid has it. I first heard about Torstein from Sean Lake when he was working over at DC. And just told me about this amazing kid that I had to check out. And his name was Torstein. He was in that, you know, elite class of snowboarders where you just say whatever, top 10 guys or something where there's just this, you know, this caliber of rider that's super, super high that's just a step above a lot of the other pros. And I would put Torstein in that category of, you know, one of the better riders out there. I thought he was kind of social, but maybe not. I think Americans are really loud anyway, so maybe it's always a little, they think that we're more quiet, you know. <laughs> and he just kind of jumped right in and he seemed very determined to make his mark and to um, kind of show everyone what kind of snowboarder he was. Working with him at DC, he was just always such a cool kid and such a hard worker. And I always enjoyed interacting with him, you know, anything from, you know, marketing projects to helping develop products. He was just a great dude to work with. I mean, me and Thorstein was, is almost the same age and we've been having a really cool journey together from, from almost the beginning, so it's cool to think about now. Where the hell did you come from? I met Torstein, damn, a long time ago. I remember taking him on a park shoot. That was when he was sponsored by DC from Norway and I took him to park shoot in Copper, Colorado, I think. And he just put on a pretty big demo out there, pretty much did every trick. We were pretty baffled because none of us were really like the sickest park riders. And he just came out and just pretty much could do everything. So. JP Solberg was my like god back then, but like to have someone that was like fairly close, that was like, All right, this is an actual person, and he's from where I'm from and then he can actually make it in snowboarding it was like I don't know that kind of like taught me that it was possible to make it 
as a like snowboarder being from where we were. So it's like, all right, this is possible, you know? Traveling with Tour Sign over the last five years has been pretty eye-opening. And I would also say um, that Tour Sign is probably one of the best, if not top five snowboarders ever on this planet. Tour Sign threw down the craziest tricks. Uh, I, w I was sitting out of the helicopter shooting um, having a really good time. Outside of when he's not snowboarding, he's definitely down for fun and do whatever and, you know, have a good time. And we, we definitely spent a few, spent a few dollars at the bar, I'd say. Um, and th that's always fun. He's definitely has two sides of, you know, when he's snowboarding, it's, it's, he's super focused. That's for sure. It's always really cool when you're in the industry and you see you know, you see young kids, young talent pop up all the time. And it's very interesting to see where that trajectory goes. Sometimes they are in the contest scene and then they're like, no, I'm over this. And they just like start filming or they, or they just don't end up really gaining a lot of traction and they just kind of fall, fall off or, you know, they don't get the big contracts. And then it's, it's always neat to see like a young kid, like uh, the two that come to mind is Torstein and actually Haldor is like, because they both, I just remember them being so young and then they came up and then just were like, poof, and just into the stratosphere of, of like, just X games win, X games win, X games win, do tour win, X game. It's just like, oh my gosh, these dudes are unstoppable. So um, yeah, no, it was, it's always cool to just see the, the, you know, kids come up and just absolutely dominate. Since he's sort of undergone this journey, it had, I have seen him more, more, more light. Yeah, more lighter and more chill. Growing up kind of a loner, uh, having a tough time at school, um, you know, being bullied, classic story. You know, everybody has one, or I mean, hopefully not everyone, but I know a lot of people do. You, you kind of, I kind of grew up with this, like me against the world, mentality ingrained to me like bro broken I got broken I don't know how many bones I've broken but that's, that's just pain you've seen like these motivational videos that say like, pain is only temporary <laughs> but uh but it's it's got nothing on on the emotional pain that you can experience you know like as, as a kid growing up and, and just being beat down mentally every day there, there's no comparison to me I was already like uh, I was already dead anyway, so like when I when I found like it was like such a um, call it a gift to hit rock bottom to realize that you know once and then snowboarding fell in my lap so to speak from there on out there was nothing to lose you know and when I broke bones I broke my back twice I've broken collarbones seven times you know jaw everything like. Uh, every time something like that happened, it was just like, all right, that's just more firepower. <laughs> then I could just sit there and think about snowboarding and what I did wrong and learn from the mistakes and then push forward and like what not to do next and what to do. You know, I kind of have like a lot of visualizing going on in, in my head without even knowing that it was, that's what it was called. It was just, my imagination was just driving towards um, all of those goals um, and then it just kind of played out which is sweet. If I had one kind of phrase to kind of sum up Torstein it would be no surrender. And then he started coming out to Whistler to film and it was game over for us. <laughs> was like fuck. Was like me and Devin just doing 540s and here comes Torstein. It's like oh shit. Now the fucking now we gotta start chucking. <laughs>